Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today we're going to make a planted arrangement. Now, my inspiration for today's one is really these bromeliads or gusmanias. These are basically epiphytes which grow on trees. They don't damage trees, but they basically use the trees for support and protection. So these are really, really cute, these little ones that you can get. Normally you tend to see them this kind of size. They come in a range of colours. I've chosen ones that are more on the kind of reds and oranges. Um, but they're a great little plant because they last for ages, they don't really need a lot of care. Once they finish flowering then they'll tend to put out little baby new plants. Takes a long, long time. In fact, I've had bromeliads that I've had for so long that I've actually got bored of them and got rid of them. Uh, especially the kind of big grey urn shaped ones, they're really, really beautiful. But there's a lot of variety, uh, you'll find them in lots of different places and uh, they're really a nice plant to have in your house and if you like house plants then they're a good choice to have in your collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these today to make a planted arrangement. Now what I've got is I've got this clay pot and I've got some branches. Now these branches were very kindly picked up by my dog, which was great. She likes to get a stick and she likes to bring it home and she's very pleased with herself. And um, basically I've got an ever growing pile of sticks uh, and she's got good taste. She got some good ones. So what I've done is in this pot, I put some cardboard over the hole at the bottom uh, I don't want to make this permanent. I want to make it that I can put it outside for the summer or have it somewhere special for the summer and then basically um, maybe take it to bits and, and change it for the winter when things are going to all come inside basically and then that becomes a bit tricky. So what I've done is I've put some cardboard over the hole in the bottom. I put in my sticks and wiggled them around to get them to sit where I wanted. And then I've used cable ties just to basically hold them really secure. Then what I've done is I've added a combination of some rubble, which is just bits of cement, uh, old kind of tiles, and also sand to fill in around the edges. So basically we're making this quite secure uh, without going so far as to have, you know, um, actually concrete the base but if you want to make something that's more permanent and it would give you much more stability then I would say use some concrete um, that would work really well so what we've got is I've left some space here for our couple of big plants and what we're going to do is we're going to use our bigger plants lower down and we're going to use our smaller plants higher up so let's have a little look at these plants they're really really cute what I want to do is just wrap these a little bit with some moss. So I'm just literally squidging that together. Now I've got this very, very fine wire. It is like a thread, to be honest. And we're just going to go around a good few times. I want this to be secure. Now really, you're, you may be thinking, oh, what about the soil and the plant needs soil? It needs soil basically to anchor its roots. The roots are really just as an anchor rather than the main way that the plant gets water or uh, nutrition. So what we can do is we can basically make this little kokodama sort of idea where we just bind off the plant. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so you could actually have these that they, uh, they hang. So that is what we're going to do. So let's do a couple of those first and get them out of the way. So let's have a look at this. What I really wanted to do is make something that's kind of all round. It doesn't have to be particularly one way, but I think this guy works really well here. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to leave him in the pot uh, because he's not going to be supported on the branches as such. He doesn't need to come out of the pot. And the other plant that I really like is this little, uh, what do you call it? 
Oh, it doesn't tell me what it is. But, <laughs> but I've got... It's a Ripsalis, I think. Uh, I could be wrong. And again, I'm going to leave him in the pot as well. For no other reason than I don't really need to take them out. And just to hold these in place, I am going to add some soil into the spaces. So that will give the benefit of adding some moisture as well. That's the only thing we're doing things like this. Quite messy. But that's okay. If you're going to do a lot of planting, then we scoop like this is really handy. I'm not going to fill this right up to the top because I do want to use some of my lovely moss that I've got just as a finish onto that. In fact, we can just put that on now. And this is just moss from my garden. Um, I don't know if I'm blessed or cursed, but I have a lot of moss. We've got a large uh, magnolia tree out the back and it is really mossy underneath. Now I'm just putting this in such a way that actually it can look a little bit moundy. So a bit like a bun moss it was quite, quite cute rather than just putting it all in flat. And I think that actually looks quite cool like that, but once we add our other little plants, we're really gonna take this up a level. But let me just have a little clean up first. So yes, Madeira was amazing for plants. Uh, and you could buy all sorts of rhizomes and uh, corms and things in these in the flower market and I have to say I was very very tempted but then you're just worried that you buy them and you can't take them through the airport um, so I didn't really want to take that risk so we have our little start of our garden we've got our strong base we've made sure everything's secure our branches that are going to support our little tree growers and then our little tree growers themselves. Now there's different ways that we can attach them. We could attach them with wire. And I also have this uh, paper covered wire. This is from Oasis. Uh, really, really useful. You tend to get it in like a, a brown color. This one is nice. It's a little bit harder to find. Basically paper covered wire, brilliant. Very easy to use and very easy to Uh, very easy to attach because the paper catches itself then it's great but I'm going to use this thin wire because it really just disappears and as I say it's a little bit like a thread make sure this is secure but I don't want it to be ugly <laughs> so you can see we're starting to create space and create interest now I think because you would tend to find in the wild that things that are similar grow together
We should maybe bring these so that they're visually kind of close together. Yeah, that's good. I did leave a little tail. I've just got to that age where I really need glasses. And even with glasses, <laughs> when things are fiddly, or as we say in Scotland, footery, then uh, it just takes a second. <laughs> have to concentrate. What's it they say? Old age doesn't come on its own. So these are looking really cute. And what we're really doing is we're playing with uh, the space and the contrast of textures and things as well. I like the idea of maybe him, where would he go? There? Up here? Actually up here is quite good. That was quite handy, that little bit there had a little bit of a spike, so I could just skewer him on. just to be on the safe side. I will add another little bit. Mm. <laughs> Exactly what I say, I can't actually see this thread, I'm just really doing it by feel. Right, I like him up there. That's quite cool. So let us have a little look. I should maybe put a little one down below. But he can come out of the pot. Yeah, that's better. So I was taking him out of the pot and popped him in there. That's worked really well because he just went right into that little hole. So let's have a look at our Talansias now. I've got them on some of this paper covered wire. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to take them off and give them a good dunk now and again. So... I'm not necessarily wanting them wired on too difficult to get off. Um, I'll take them off and dump them in some rainwater for half an hour once a week. Um, so I felt a little bit sad because this was, as I say, one whole plant, one whole cluster of uh, little Talansias, but to bring them back, I needed to split them up to get them in to my case. And you can actually see on this one, this is uh, a mother one that's got little baby ones. So we really want this one to do well. Hmm. 
I've had air plants before, but when I lived in Scotland, it's not really the best climate. So even though you do your best, they're not that keen on it not being warm. So it'll be interesting to see how they do now. So let's have a little look. This is <laughs> really fun. It works as an all round design uh, and it's full of interest and space and movement. So that is really all I want to do. If I had, now I did actually have a tiny little bit of moss. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I wish I had some Spanish moss because then I would quite have enjoyed to um, put some Spanish moss on it. Unfortunately, I don't. And if I did, it would probably be as dry as anything. So I'll just wait until I get some. And if I can get some, then I'll add it. But that's just a little bit of reindeer moss, just to add a little bit of variation. I'll keep an eye on this. Basically, if, um, if I see anything that I want to add or change, then, you know, it's not a problem to do that. Just because you've made something doesn't mean that it's set in stone. And really, um, generally with plants, things change. Now, we've got new videos every week and we'd love you to join us for uh, our next video. So if you haven't already subscribed, then please subscribe. Uh, click the like button, that really helps our channel. And uh, if you're feeling like a little bit more inspiration now, then why not have a look in the description box for this video? We've got a link to one of our previous videos, which is for a planted design as well, but really just more spring. So this is quite tropical. Uh, the one that we've, we're putting the link to is more of a traditional style. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As I say, we've got new videos every week. We'd love you to join us. And until then, take care and we'll see you soon.